the most beautiful table that I have ever, 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 ever seen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Chess. I post videos every week. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you enjoy watching. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some of my new home bits that have recently been delivered to me and I'm also going to Neptune, a new Neptune store tomorrow with my friends from Instagram, Helena, Rachel, Rebecca and Abby. We're all going to Neptune Nutsford tomorrow and I'm really excited. We're going for lunch in Nutsford as well. I'm just going to have a look around the other shops in Nutsford so that will be a nice day out and it's meant to be really nice weather tomorrow as well so it's gonna be like a little home decor shopping vlog hey guys this is Chessie from the future I'm just inserting this little clip in because this video is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh who I'm working with on today's video which I am very excited about because if you guys have been subscribers for a while you will know I've worked with HelloFresh in the past absolutely love it so convenient meals arriving at your door what could be better than that? Like it saves you the trouble of going to the supermarket, thinking of ideas to cook. HelloFresh has got you covered, it literally says on the box. Dinner is solved and dinner literally is solved whenever HelloFresh boxes arrive at our door. And I was literally just saying to Jake the other week, should we do HelloFresh again? And then they kindly got in touch again. So it was like good timing because it just saves us so much time. Like we stopped doing it for a while and then every Sunday Jake would do the food shopping. We're like, what do we want for tea this week? And sometimes it's just like the same old thing every week but with HelloFresh like the meals are so different and like things that I usually wouldn't choose but sometimes I like go out of my comfort zone and pick something a bit wacky and I end up loving it so it's just nice to get like varied meals throughout the week as well. In the past people have said to me oh you should definitely try HelloFresh it's so good and from trying it myself now I know what the hype is about so if you're a bit like mm, should I try it or not definitely try it I'm going to show you some of the meals that they've sent me this week and we're actually going to cook one tonight and it's so yummy every time like 10 out of 10 I always say this it's like restaurant quality meal at your dining room table we're actually going to eat outside today because it is really sunny so if you're like mm, um and ah in about trying it I would definitely give it a go at least and you'll probably get hooked because the meals are so tasty so if you are thinking of trying it now's a good time because I do have a 60% off code off your first box and then 25% off your next eight boxes and it's chessy60 I'll pop it on the screen now and I've also got a cool little QR code as well so if you're watching on the TV you can scan this QR code and it will take you straight to the offer which is amazing so yeah you could definitely make use of that offer if you're not sure about trying it and then I, I promise you you will love it so these are the meals that I've chosen this week this is what you get by the way you get all the ingredients which I'll show you in a second you get a recipe card like this it's shows you a picture of how it should look which is very helpful all the ingredients there at the side the number five and then in the box like all the ingredients with all the ingredients for this meal have a number five on so it's so easy like that's a really clever thing that I would never even have even thought of and then on the back it tells you how to make it which is so good for someone like me who really needs instructions to follow when cooking. So this week we've got cheeseburger inspired meatball sub and chips. How good does that look? Yum. And we've also got creamy roasted sweet potato curry. That sounds so good as well. I love a curry. And this one spicy creamy Cajun chicken pasta. I literally can't decide which one to have. Jake which one shall we have? You want meatball sub? It does look good, that doesn't it? So here are all the fresh ingredients to make the cheeseburger inspired meatball So I'm so excited to have this tonight, I can't wait to see how it turns out. I'm putting my trust in Jake, he's the cook round here and I'm sure he'll do a really good job. He's literally got everything he needs right in front of him. It's one of their classic recipes and it's also one of your five a day which is even better. So yeah, it will be ready in three, two, one. Guys, look at that. It literally looks like something I'd be served at restaurants. I have two buns as well because Jake is gluten-free, so you've got your gluten-free buns. So I get two of the buns. How amazing does it look? You've had a taste, haven't you? It's so, so good. So it's really good. I can't wait. And I'm going to tuck in now before it goes cold. But like I said before, you can save 60% off your first box with the code CHESSY60. I'll pop it on the screen now. And I'll also pop my QR code on the screen as well. If you're watching on a TV, you can just scan that and it will take you straight to the offer. You can save 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. I'll also pop the link down below and everything you need as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do decide to go with HelloFresh, I definitely recommend it. I mean, just look how nice this looks.
So now I've got some homey bits to show you, my favourite, I always love showing you home decor bits on the channel and I'm starting off today with some bits from a new small business called Blue Hill Interiors, you've sent me a little card like this and they are a brand new small business, they're doing really well on Instagram but as we know for small businesses it can be so hard for them when they're competing with like high street shops like HomeSense and B&M which are like really, really cheap like home decor bits so it can be really hard for small businesses so I'm really excited to be sharing some of their gorgeous bits with you on YouTube today and hopefully you can click the link in the bio and go and support them and show them some love on Instagram. So yeah the shop is just gorgeous so I'm very excited to be sharing some of the beautiful home decor items with you today. So the first thing we've got from Blue Hill Interiors are these beautiful napkins. Look at the colour of those napkins and the pattern. Very like vintage William Morris kind of vibe, isn't it? The colour is so beautiful. It's like a cream and like a sage green colour. I'm loving my greens at the minute. These are going to look so pretty on a tablescape. I think they're a set of four. Oh, I love them. Very nice. I like, they remind me of like summer vibes as well. Like kind of they're giving me like Greek vibes, like Mamma Mia Greek vibes, even though Greece is more like whites and blues, but I don't know, maybe like Mediterranean vibes. I can imagine these on like a summer tablescape and they're really big as well. So you can do like loads of different designs, like, you know, like when you fold them up and do different shapes and stuff. They're really pretty, I love them. And then I've also got something in here, I'm not sure what it is. Have a look. Oh my goodness, look at this. A gorgeous rustic ribbed vase. Rustic, ribbed, vase, all the things I love, all distressed around the edge, I love that. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. It's like a white, distressed white vase. I love anything distressed and like rustic like this. Some like little gypsy feeler or little like faux flower coming out of that. I love it. Matches with all my neutrals really nicely as well. And then the last thing from Blue Hill Interiors, I think, is a cushion. Did you buy the shape? I'm very excited to see what this looks like. Oh my goodness, look how stunning that is. I love the pattern of that so much. It's like plain on the back, plain linen on the back, like a neutral colour. And then look at this floral design on the front. It's kind of like a very warm neutral colour for the pattern. It's so pretty. Again, that like rustic William Morris kind of look with the like busy floral pattern all on the front. That is so pretty. Just for like on a bench somewhere. Or like, you know when people have like a rattan, like a wicker like trunk, it looks really nice on, on some of those as well. That is very pretty. Or like in the centre of a bed as like a statement centrepiece cushion. <gasps> Stunning! I love it! I'm literally made up with everything from Blue Hill Interiors. You need to go and check them out guys. I'll leave their Instagram link down below on their website. Go and have a nosy, see if anything takes your fancy. And I do have a discount code which will be Florally10 as always and it can save you 10% off their website. And they're very close to a thousand followers so please go and show your support over on Instagram. Go and get something from their shop if you can and just go and show some love to this gorgeous new small business. I'm about to go to the cinema but I will show how I style up some of these pieces as well so you can see them styled around my home but I'll have to film it on a different day, maybe tomorrow morning before I go to Neptune but it'll all still be in this vlog so it'll be like in a few minutes for you guys but a different day for me. And I also have a little package from Home Pieces which is a small business that I've worked with in the past, again another stunning small business with gorgeous home decor and they have very kindly sent me some cushion covers as well and these are the same cushion covers that I actually picked for Helena in one of of our bestie home hauls and I just fell in love with that design I literally wanted them for myself and now I have got them from home pieces look how beautiful a lovely neutral like off-white creamy background with this gorgeous green floral prints all, all over the front and the back like the double-sided the patterns on both sides how stunning are they I just love them. I feel like I'm going to have to get some inners for these and these are going to go in the spare room because Jake has just done the wallpaper and it's like a neutral, I thought it was like a neutral creamy colour but there are some green cushions in there at the minute and it's kind of giving me like a really really light sage vibe. It looks stunning. I honestly can't wait for the whole room to be done and I feel like these are just going to go in that room so nicely. So I can have like my white cushions at the back and then these two in front and then maybe like, in fact I do think I've got a striped cushion with a bit of green on that can go like as a centerpiece. Oh, I've got it all planned out. I do have a discount code for home pieces as well. It's the same, it's Florally10 and that can save you 10% off anything from their gorgeous website as well. So now I'm just gonna quickly get ready. My mom's going to pick me up in 10 minutes and we're going to go see the little mermaid. I'm 
so excited. I am the biggest Disney fan. I love all the Disney remakes. Like some people don't like the Disney remakes. Like some people don't like the new Beauty and the Beast. Well, it's not new anymore, but the real life Beauty and the Beast. How can you not like it? And so many people don't like the new real life Lion King even. How can you not like? I just don't understand. I'm just such a big Disney fan and I am so excited to see The Little Mermaid tonight. Whenever we go on like a long haul flight and we've got our own like TV, I will just watch Disney films the whole way there and the whole way back, even if I've seen them a million times. I just love Disney. I want to go back to Disneyland so bad. Hey guys, it's the next day now and we're just on our way to Rachel's house, home at Cranberry Meadows. We've got Helena in the back. Hello. The light is really bad, but you can still hey. see her. <laughs> we've got our taxi guy <laughs> driving taxi us. Guy. <laughs> and we can't wait to see Rachel's house, can we? It's so, so stunning. Excited. On Instagram, all the rooms in the house are just beautiful. So we're very excited to see inside. And then we're heading to Nutsford. We're going to Neptune Nutsford and then like having a little shop round Nutsford. And then we're going back to Rachel's house for pizza and Prosecco. Exciting. Whoop. Arriving at Rachel's. Helena YouTube check. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi oh MTV, welcome God, to my face. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, like, oh it's really weird. Really 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 Everyone's yeah, gonna recognise like it. <laughs> <laughs> like I've seen this view so many times. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen. I love it. Oh, cute. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's my dish. No, that's Helen. Oh, it's her. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, cute. Oh, adorable. Oh, I love it. She's a dodgy step. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put that towards the back. And there's my little dish. Oh, look, it's got like a bit of rustic detail there. Oh. Accidental rustic detail. Oh, cute. <laughs> Oh, aren't we, didn't we do no. well? Where's yours? Oh, yours yeah. at home. <laughs> Cute. So some of you might remember, it was a while ago actually when I posted this vlog. And we did our little pottery painting. We all did pretty well. Yours looks very natural. Yeah. It is very natural. The colours are really nice. nice. It's like so cool. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Let's get a big plant in it. Very cute. <laughs> Thanks for picking them up, Becca. <laughs> We've arrived at Neptune Nutsford. It looks so pretty from the outside, like a little barn. I'm excited to see this shot for this stuff. This store is so pretty. Look at this kitchen. and I feel like the sunshine is just making everything look even more beautiful. I love this set, this like metal set with the cream cushions. Bedroom. I love the mirror, I love the bed, look at the ensuite. 
those tiles are stunning. Oh my goodness. Imagine having an ensuite big enough for a peg shelf yeah, and a yeah. place to sit. So sit down and brush your teeth. <laughs> Isn't it? Because like when you look at the green, that's quite yeah. The green, the green is quite intense. She has some videos of that. She might still be able to pull the back. Yeah. Yeah. Great shot. <laughs> We've all spent up, <laughs> and we're not even sorry. We've just finished at Neptune. It was a really nice store, actually. I've never been to the Nutsford one before, but I don't know which one I prefer, Nutsford or Southport. What's your vote, girls? I think I have to say Nutsford. Oh, it's just so Southport! Because Southport's like our home one, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it was just nice to go to a different store. They're yeah. both stunning stores and lovely stuff. There was just so much to look at. Yeah, there was. And like it was really fully stocked. There was loads on the shelves and stuff. So we've all spent up, but we're going to go back to Rachel's afterwards and I'm going to get everyone to do a haul so you can see what we all got. <laughs> but now we're just on our way for some lunch at Picky Piccolino. Piccolino's. I'm about to get run over. <laughs> <laughs> and we're hoping that we can get a table outside in the sunshine because it is a glorious day. This is Nutsford Town Centre. It's really cute, like quite a narrow street and we've got all the bunting up. Oh, look how pretty that is. I feel like I'm on holiday, honestly. I just said to Helena, I hope we're sat here. <laughs> how pretty is this? <laughs> Our uh, drinks have arrived. Me and Helena have gone for Porn Star. And you've got. It's Tropic Life, it's hot. Oh? I'm, I'm designated driver. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't have an alcoholic. That looks really nice though. What have you got, Becca? I just got like a nice fairy mock <laughs> Yummy. I can't get used to you vlogging yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make sure you go and check out Helena's vlog. She's now a YouTube star. I'm a YouTuber. Ah! Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> no salads here. Have <laughs> like we got an egg on top I know, of ours? I don't want, I don't want Is it? You don't want an egg? No, it's a bit weird. It's a real point. Are you not an egg I'll, kind I'll of girl? It's a real point. I feel like <laughs> Rachel and I have both got carbonara. Helena's gone for prawns. Becca's gone for and the arabiata. Ooh. Those pastas look really good. Yeah, nice in that shape before. Yum. Yeah, this is stunning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen so many pretty flowers and all on that side as well. <gasps> oh my gosh. Good shout, Rach. Thanks for bringing us here. <laughs> Oh my god, stunning. <laughs> Look at all of this. Look at the table. <gasps> this is so pretty. Look at that table. It's a scallop table. I love that. <gasps> is that for sale? Because I want it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that scallop table. I think we need like one of every design. Oh my god, they are the perfect colour to match with the new the dining oh dining chairs. <laughs> Guys, this shop, I honestly can't even deal with this shop. It's Susie Watson Designs in Nutsford. <gasps> like, look at all the cushions, the bedding, the embroidery, the flowers. I'm so tempted to get that table. Love this headboard. 
everything is just so pretty. My mum would absolutely love it here. Mum, if you're watching, we need to go. <laughs> stop! Oh my gosh! It can stop. I love it. It can. Yeah, I know, it's, I love the whitewash wood. I love those candles too, really pretty. We're literally in like decor heaven yeah, here, literally. aren't we? Are they like napkins? Yeah. Oh yeah, they are really pretty. The green ones are nice, a striped green one. Mmm. Yummy. Thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks cute. Just that like to look. faff with you. Does he feel nice? Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, they've persuaded me. I'm literally getting a console table. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Oh, it's so worth it. We've just had a Google online, haven't we? Yeah. And there's there's nothing else like this. And I think that is literally the most perfect table that I've ever seen. So, I need to get it. Get it, get dismantled. <laughs> Thank you, Helena. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Jake is going to kill me. But I can't, I literally can't leave that behind, really, can I? I'm sweating. The things I do. I know. You do one end. Wait, let me. <laughs> to me, to you. <laughs> oh, it's stunning. <laughs> Wrapping up the table. Yeah. Gotta get in. Rachel's car. <laughs> and then Helena's car. <laughs> and then back to my house. So we've just about managed to get it in the boot. <laughs> All our Neptune bags in the middle. <laughs> you are bad influences. <laughs> but just, I mean, look at the scallop poking through the packaging. It, I just, I couldn't Still leave it. But I'm just Congrats. panicking now that it's not gonna fit on the landing, but I will update you guys on this vlog. I'll pop it in the, I'll pop it on the landing in this vlog and we can see if it fits. So I'm on a spending ban in this shop, but we're at Oka, which I've heard loads about, but I've never actually been in to a shop before, so I'm very excited and I can already see the things that I want. <laughs> so I'm just going to look. Oh, oh stop. <laughs> Love that. Gorgeous. Look at that arrangement. How beautiful is that? And I think there's some flowers through here. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can't even deal with all of those flowers. <gasps> Guys, is it really soft? <laughs> like it feels like a hotel sofa. You want a new sofa? Yeah, should I get this as well? Will it fit, Rach? <laughs> Stop it, as if there's scalloped. Plates and bowls. Look at this scalloped teacup. That is so cute. Oh, I love that. It's got like a little edge to it as well. These are cute. I like the colour. Like muted sage green colour. Not seen any in that colour before. It's nice. Love this arrangement. Look at these pretty peonies. Or are they roses? I'm not too sure, but they're very pretty. And then love these like vintage paintings. Gorgeous. Like it's like all big all one big frame. I love that. So we're back at Rachel's now. We're just gonna have some prosecco in the garden. How nice is Rachel's garden? These are your new sun loungers, aren't they? Yeah, just please ignore Elliot. Oh no, it's having a bit of a mare, isn't it? <laughs> oh they're really pretty though, I love them and these big white ones. I'm going to be on those sun lounges in a second. <laughs> Gorgeous pots. Oh, a little Wendy house. I love this seating area with the striped rug. We're all just like exhausted, aren't we? <laughs> no energy. <laughs> the allium's <fine. laughs> We were going to do a little Neptune haul, but we're just so tired. But I'll do one, maybe a different day, but include it in this video. But we're just like soaking up the sunshine, aren't we? Here she is. Oh, so Woo! <laughs> we're enjoying a prosecco in the sunshine <laughs> in Rachel's garden. Gorgeous garden. At home at Cranberry Meadows. <laughs> Even the bird box aesthetic. <laughs> so pretty. Unboxing. <gasps> Love that from Neptune. So cute. Like a dark wood mini chopping board. 
Yes. Do you want to show us where you're going to style it? So this is my idea. Obviously, I have rosemary and thyme. So it's either. Move the Prosecco Yeah, move the Prosecco Oh yeah, I love that. Like that. Yeah, or really nice. Or even just like that. Yeah. Or I've got the diffuser, I've just bought the diffuser Ooh, as well. So yeah. the diffuser on. Oh, that looks so, really nice and it adds a little bit of like warmth to the yeah. to the white work top, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's oh, gorgeous. I love that. I love the new stickers that they're doing it's on the front. So nice, I've never seen it? that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's a new gorgeous. design. Vervine is my favourite. Yeah. It's need to have a I smell. Love that. So yeah, I can get those out. And then I could just refill it with anything now. Yeah. More Neptune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise. So that's refill. Ooh, that's I don't know if you can buy refill. Yeah, I think you can. Shall I just tell him to oh. wait a few minutes? Is this a good idea doing it drunk? <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> I'm not going to imagine spilling Maybe. pounds worth of diffuser. Have you got a funnel? No. No. Go on, just do it really slowly. Like, get it so. Well, no, get it so like. You know when, because the bottle's got a bit of ribbed to yeah. it, so like, lock it in place. I didn't realise it came with the bottle and the refill. That's really cool. Mama! Oh, she just had me at the camera. Hello, Martha. Hello. You have to be good. No weenie. Rachel's lovely house. Hi, Matt. Good luck, Oh. Rachel's put on a cute spread for us. Pizza. Chicken, popcorn chicken, and are they halloumi fries? Yeah. Yum. <gasps> Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Martha is so excited to be at home at Cranberry is. Meadows. <laughs> She's loving it. <laughs> oh, little baby. How pretty is Rachel's garden? Obsessed. Really pretty. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, Alliums. <laughs> car transfer number two <laughs> into Helena and Matt's car. <laughs> oh, is it going to fit? Oh, yeah, it's fine. oh that's actually a really good that's fit. Perfect. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, so I've just got back from Rachel's. Helena's boyfriend dropped me and Helena back off around our neck of the woods and he's brought up my console table as well. It's like a delivery service. So I am so nervous that it's not going to look right in this space. It was such a bit of an impulsive buy, but it was just too stunning to leave and I've never seen anything like this. And we had a little Google as well. We Googled scallops wooden table and we couldn't find anything that was like this. So I just thought it was too good not to get. So it's going to go here. So I'm going to set it up now and show you guys how it looks. Oh, look at my baby. Flopped next to her cloud. Piglet's eating his own poo inside Bonnie's castle. <laughs> Shall we go in and say hello? Hello. Hello. Are you with your cloud bunny? You want some cuddles too, piggy? You know my piglet. Amy. Hello. Hello. Are you so hot? It's a very hot day today. Are you drinking your water, bunnies? <laughs> Are you running? Are you running? <laughs> Are you excited because daddy's getting water? What's that circle on your face? Is your fur changing? Mm -hmm. Bonnie, that's Piglet's castle. Isn't it? Where's your castle? Are you in the wrong castle? Hey guys, so it's the next day now and what a lovely day it was yesterday. It was honestly the best day. The sun was shining, the weather was so good and we all went to Rachie's house first and then we went to Nutsford as you will have seen. Had a really good shot. I probably shot a bit too much and then we had a lovely evening at Rachel's house and in her garden as well. She popped Prosecco out for us and pizza and chicken bites and halloumi fries. It was such a lovely day. So because we didn't get round to doing the haul yesterday, I thought I would just show you my bits that I got from Neptune and then I'll also show you the purchase upstairs, the scallop console table. <gasps> More about that later. <laughs> First of all, I think I did show this actually on the vlog at Rachel's, but this was 
the little pot that I painted at the pottery painting like day out that we had and I designed it based off a pot from Neptune. Let me get the actual Neptune pot so you can like see them side by side. I mean it doesn't look like the Neptune one obviously but the idea was there. So this is the pot from Neptune and this is the pot that I painted and obviously the colours are all wrong but this was kind of the design that I was going for like a plainer top and then a bit of like darker rustic detail at the bottom so I don't think I've done a bad job of that like I will happily style this on my shelf and I'm very fussy with the things that I put around my home and on my shelf but yeah I really like it and I can have it in the coaster as well I think it's cute when it's in the coaster it kind of hides the detail at the bottom but it's still a cute like creamy color and it's got a drainage hole as well so I can pop a real plant in this or some herbs or something cute and then the first thing from Neptune is something that I've wanted for a while now and whenever I've been I've just said no I don't need any more vases but I just thought treat myself the sun was shining I was in a good mood with my friends so I just thought treat myself here it is here's my new vase it's the Witten small vase in snow so they do this size and then they do a bigger size as well but I thought this was this size was big enough to be fair like you can get a really good bouquet in there or like some little stems I'm thinking my new dahlias that I got the other day would look really nice in here or my magnolia stems from the range literally anything would look nice in here it's just like a nice neutral vase isn't it and I love this like darker rustic detail at the bottom as well and then as you can see on the front it's got like rustic distressed kind of pattern all over it's even got like a big almost like a big brown scratch all the way down it but it's part of the bars like it's part of the design so yeah I love this vase it was 46 pound which isn't too bad for a big vase like this like vases are expensive like big vases for like big displays so 46 pound I thought was a really decent even like below average price for a big vase so I was happy with that and I think I'm going to style it on my new console table which is on the landing as we speak I'll take you guys up in a minute and I'll style on my Neptune pieces but I think that is going to look lovely on my new console table so yeah very excited about that vase and then I also treated myself to some new hand soap and hand cream for the downstairs bathroom and my reasoning was because I, I do obviously already have soap and hand cream in the downstairs bathroom but I thought because I've got the new wallpaper it's a really good excuse to get new hand soap and hand cream so that was the thought process behind this purchase so I went with a new scent actually and I, I do have the small versions of these but in the English fig I think with the green label and I was almost about to get the big version of the English fig but then I thought the wallpaper that I've just put in there is like a neutral so I thought the white label would look nicer so I've got the rosemary and thyme this is the rosemary and thyme hand and body wash and they're actually glass bottles as well the smaller ones are like plasticky bottles but these ones are glass and they're bigger so I think they'll look much nicer in there and then also the hand and body lotion as well so I will use these I won't save them I will use them but then when they're all gone I will top them up of course with some nice like M&S ones or something like that <laughs> and then the last thing that I picked up from Neptune were these little bowls let me get them out so these are from the Lulworth collection. I've got a big cereal bowl in my downstairs bathroom. Lots of you will have seen it on my shelf. And then I saw that they do these little, I think they're called pinch pots. Like, like in Neptune, they have like salt and pepper in them. And like, I guess you like have them near your hob and you can just like pinch salt and like sprinkle it in. But I'm not using them for that. I thought that they would look nice, like styled together like that, either like that or like have the top one at an angle on a windowsill in my kitchen I feel like they're a kitchen piece or because we've just done the wallpaper in the spare room and the colour that we've gone for is ecru but I've got it styled in there with some green cushions and it kind of looks like a really light grey sage very very similar to this so I thought that I could have one of them on one of the bedside tables in the spare room as like a little jewellery like holder for when guests come and stay. I just thought they were really cute, obviously really gorgeous accessory from Neptune, but I do think they look quite nice style together like that as a little kitchen piece. You know, just for like a rustic kind of bowl on a shelf or on a window or near your hub or anywhere really. And they were only six pound each, which I didn't think was too bad for a nice, cute little decorative accessory. So that was everything that I got from Neptune. It's a shame I can't show you what the other girls got as well because they got some really cute bits too. But Helena has also vlogged the whole day so you can see Helena's perspective over on her channel. Go and show her channel some love by the way. She's just started out and she's doing really really well so far. So I will leave Helena's YouTube link down below and you can go and show some love over on her channel and see what bits she picked up and see the whole day again from her perspective.
So now I'm going to take you upstairs onto the landing and show you the final purchase that I made from Susie Watson Designs, the most beautiful table that I have ever, 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 ever seen. So guys, here is the table that I bought from Susie Watson Designs yesterday. Can you even get over this table? There's so many things about it that I love. First being the scalloped edging at the front. I mean, that is just so me right now. I'm loving everything scalloped. This is just perfect. The colour, it's like a whitewashed wood, like a really muted colour brown, which I love. I love that colour wood. It's stunning. It's perfect for this space. Let me move back. I was so scared that it wasn't going to fit, but it's literally perfect. It's 95 centimetres across, so just under a metre. And with this being our landing, so obviously, like, you walk up the stairs, I'll just show you. So you walk up the stairs and you've only got like this space to get through. So my old console table that I had here was a narrow one like this one. So if I was ever to change it like I have done, I would need a narrow one. And this one is really narrow as well. So it was just like a perfect swap and there was just nothing like it. Like I've never seen anything like this before, like from any shop. And I just absolutely love it. I'm just not sure what to put underneath it. I've just got a basket there for now, but I'm not sure if I like just, I feel like maybe either two of them or like a long one, like a like a narrow long one, like a magazine basket or something with maybe a blanket coming out or a cushion. Yeah, maybe a cushion actually, because my old console table had a little shelf underneath that I could style up, but this one just has the top. But I've just taken the accessories from the old console table and popped them on. But I'm gonna have a, a bit of a reshuffle, a bit of a rejig and do some more styling and accessorize it differently, but I'm just in love with it. What do you guys think? Like, was it a bit of an impulsive purchase? Probably, but I love it. I did think that maybe the Neptune, oh my goodness, look how nice. I mean, this is Neptune as well, but look how nice the new Neptune vase looks. <gasps> to the side like that. Need to get some stems in. That just looks stunning. Let's see how this singular stem looks. This is from Neptune as well. This is the Gypsy Filo. It's like a creamy yellow color. It's so pretty. Oh, love it. <gasps> Look at me in the mirror. I'm so excited about it. I just think it's absolutely stunning and just warms the area up. The other console table was white and obviously the walls are white, the mirror's white and I just thought it was too white. So this definitely warms up the space. I think it's absolutely stunning. And then let's pop these in the bathroom, have a bit of a switch up. So I actually have, let me turn the light on. So I actually have the M&S ones for people to use and then I have my Neptune ones up here in the tray that's actually empty now. So what I might do is have the Neptune ones, my new Neptune ones for people to use down here put the Marks and Spencer's ones in the cupboard and maybe still keep them up there. We'll see, let's have a reshuffle. So yeah, I've just popped those there. Sometimes when I'm doing like a bit of styling, I'll have like a vase there, like a mini vase, but it's not really practical when people are actually trying to wash their hands. Like sometimes I get that vase and pop it there when I'm taking an Insta photo, but for like just the majority of the time, it just looks like this with a towel at the side and then the two bottles at the other side, I love it. And then I know I said I was going to put one of these in the spare room, but the bedside tables aren't, re aren't here yet, and like the, the room isn't really styled yet. So for the time being, I'm just going to have the two of them stacked together like this in the kitchen, just with a few more rustic accessories, and I think that looks really nice as well. And then I've just realised that I haven't shown you how I've styled any of the small business pieces that I showed at the beginning of this haul. Yeah, I didn't have time to style after I showed them because I was going to see The Little Mermaid, but this is one of the cushions from Blue Hill Interiors. So I just had it here, like after... After I finished filming the haul yesterday, in fact the day before, I'm all lost in my days now, but after I finished filming the haul, I just popped it on my couch and then went out. And then when I came back, I actually really liked how it looked with all my other cushions. Like I know they're all different colours and all different patterns, but I feel like I really like that vibe at the minute, kind of like a rustic vintage mishmash vibe. So yeah, I'm going to keep it down here. I'm going to keep it on one of my main couches. I love it. Really, really good quality cushion from Blue Hill Interiors, guys. So. Like I said, I will leave everything linked down below and you can use my code FLORALLY10 to save 10% off this gorgeous cushion. And I've got these gorgeous cushions which I am going to save for my spare room glow up because I feel like all the greens will just tie in really nicely. But Jake did get me some cushions down from the attic 
so I can take the cushion covers off those and pop those covers on those inners. So I'll do that now and show you guys what these beautiful cushions from Home Pieces look like with the inners inside. So here's what the cushion covers look like with the inners inside. How stunning, like literally how stunning is that pattern? The lovely cream background and the gorgeous sage green. Stunning. What I think I might do is bring them upstairs and show you guys how they look against the wallpaper. So the room isn't completely finished yet, still in a bit of a mess. And I don't even know if I've done a, a reveal on YouTube yet because I feel like it's coming in a separate vlog because I had to get this vlog up sooner. But do you see, this is the gorgeous wallpaper from Lucy Annabelle and it is called Ecru, but I did have it styled with these cushions and it was just kind of giving me like, it's not really picking up on camera, but it was giving me like a really light sage green. And I just think these cushions in here are just gonna look stunning. Look how nice those cushions look against all the neutrals and like the little patterned wallpaper. Oh, these napkins, I just, I'm obsessed with these napkins. Like, these have been in my living room as well because I've just been dead busy over the weekend. So now I'm just like tidying and doing bits of styling. And whenever I see these napkins, I'm just obsessed. They're from Blue Hill Interiors as well. So I will style those up when I do my next tablescape for sure. I feel like garden tablescape tablescape, indoor tablescape, they're just going to work with whatever I decide. I love them so much. The colour is perfect. Who knew that I would love green so much? Like, I can't believe how much I'm loving green. So when I do a tablescape, I will show you guys on YouTube and Instagram and show you how I style up these beautiful napkins. I feel like we can even say that it's got a little bit of a scallop detail on there, can we not? So I'm thinking... I could have these two styled at the bottom because I always like to have this console, well it's not a console table, it's a, like a coffee table. I always like to have it styled nicely because you can see it when you're in the living room and you can also see it from when you're in the hallway. Like it's, it's like in your field of vision, if you get what I mean, like people will always see it. And I think those two pieces look really cute together there and they tie in nicely with my neutral pieces on top. This is why you should always opt for neutrals guys because everything always goes together so nicely. So guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. It's been a really busy few days, a busy week actually. It's been half term for me this week and it's just been super busy, like loads going on. I've been seeing loads of different people going out places, going out for tea, lunch. Like it's been a really good break actually, a really good half term. And it's always, they're always my favorite types of half terms when, it, when they're really busy because I feel like I've had a really long break. The weather has been amazing as well. So I've honestly just loved this week. Back to work for me tomorrow for summer two, final term before summer holidays and final term before our holiday to Rose. I'm so excited, I don't think I've told you guys on YouTube but we're going to Rhodes at the end of July. I'm very excited just me and Jake so it's going to be nice to have a little couples holiday together. First couples holiday engaged and last couples holiday engaged <gasps> because the next holiday will go on apart from this one we will be married. Oh my goodness. But yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and seeing our little trip out and seeing all my home decor bits and how I styled them. I love doing these videos for you guys so I really hope you do enjoy watching and if you do you know I love to chat with you in the comments. Please do leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you were loving in this video and if you haven't already subscribed I would love if you could subscribe because then I can carry on making videos like this for you guys. There's loads more home styling slash vlog slash like homey kind of videos yet to come on my my channel so make sure you stick around for those and there's also a new episode of bestie home haul episode three coming very soon as well so yeah lots of exciting videos to come and i will see you very soon in next week's video bye